Thanks, uh, Professor Hyper. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure. You know, I was invited. Uh, you know, visit uh, your university. Uh, very famous. Uh, in 1983 and 1986, I was in the uh, University of Galway. You know, the Ireland. But I hear the you know the uh, Waterloo you are Water Institute is very famous. Do the very excellent uh, research in the uh, in the globe. Uh, this time, I was, uh, you know, the Chinese delegation attend the uh, IUGG, you know, General Assembly in the Montreal. So just uh, two weeks, we are just finished, so Hyper invited me, uh, you know, the, here I want to exchange some, the, you know, the uh, uh, experiments, the share uh, your, uh, your experiments I wanted to learn. In the morning, well, I have very good, the, you know, the, you know, the meeting, the exchange, the idea. So basically, in the IUGG General Assembly, I give a presentation about the climate change, the impact, and the water security in China. But today, I, my presentation, I want to focus on the very special, you know, the area, the urban water issue. You know that China is a developing country where face many, you know, the challenges because we have high population. But now, it's urbanization is one of the major issues related to water. So I like the, you know, the some the, you know, the information or some of the, uh, you know, job we already do in China, then we're looking for the cooperation with you. So my presentation is the uh, urban uh, hydrologic issue. Some people say the urban water issue, and uh, we want to help give the solution what is the methodology. So now we are promoted the water system in methodology. We call the water system the, you know, the, the, the approach. So today, the, my presentation, I want to, you know, the, the address the three the issue. First is the urban water issue. Second is urban hydrologic the attrib uh, attribution, also the urban water system, we say the methodology, uh, anyhow. The first, I like the, this the picture. This is the given by the World Resource Institute, uh, 2015. Water is the central to all of the development goals. You know, the SDGs, or, okay, They're also China will have the, you know, because this is a mapping is also the show, include China or some, it's the extremely high, okay, what stress, the extremely high is over 18%, some region, you know, is very, uh, is high. My second word is say the water issue is also rather complex due to its system behavior. I'm the, the, you know, the hydrologist. I get a, a PhD in 1985. I'm the first person in the China to get the PhD. When I was learned the hydrology, I learned the precipitation, uh, evaporation, surface water, soil water, ground water, et cetera. This is, uh, you know, physical components, which is called uh, physical hydrology. But now we are faced the urbanization, agriculture, many dams build, also population grows. You know, what conception, what you know, supply or some what pollution, and people are talking about climate change. So this is, I think, is the system. A system for the urban scale is not like the Yangtz River, Yellow River, or the globe, you know. But still, it's very, very complex because more population is living in the urban area. So we must be seen, we should be learn how to give the solution through the urban water the system. But however, we're facing many challenges there. When these people is talking about climate change, I would say that you are, you know, the uh, Water Institute is a very good job for climate change. Here you see the global the leader in the interdisciplinary in the water research and the education. The other people is talking about the climate change. But for water issue, the climate change, water, you know, Chinese government, also Chinese people pay much attention. I think it's one, is that it possible change what time and space distribution. Maybe you know the China, we have the three gorge project. We have very good project, it's a bigger project, the water transfer from Yangtze River south into north. Because this water location is time and space variation to change the sum. Second is the flooded drought. We call the increase, possible increased risk of flooding and drought. In my research, yes, we are 
found the total China, you're looking for past 100 years record. For total what a run of the volume, you know, too much, not too much change. But extremely even, you know, the, the drought and the, you know, the flooding, you know, so we could CV as in the hydrology, the indicator is significant at the change. So this is the problem. Because we already have the planning for Yangtze River for some of the water project. Never think about the impact climate change is, you know, the different from the orange to gold. So this is the big challenge. So I like the, you are share this, the, uh, pictures in China. We have the data in the past uh, 15 or more than some stations, more than 100, you know, observe the data, not the simulation the data, okay. So this is uh, uh, when it's air temperature, the linear trend change is this one. You are saying that most of the China area temperature is increase. Only a few, some of the region like the Sichuan, the Yangtze River, is not too much, but the most particularly in the north and east of China, uh, you know, temperature is going up. It's true, it, it, this is true. Second is, uh, uh, I would like to show the precipitations like this. Because China, we have the different, uh, you know, the geography, the zone, we call the monsoon area. It covered eight big river basin, Yangtze River, Yellow River, uh, and et cetera, Huai River. And another we call the uh, wet, you know, the array, the summer, the region. Then we have the Tibeta Plateau, which is the third polo, you know, because of the you know, Mount High Mountain area. So anyway, but uh, in the China, in the southern part, you know, the too much the rain, but the northern part is drought, drought. So why China we have the water transfer from south to north? You know, we want to balance the water location is about this one. Third is, uh, we said, heavy rain. Some region is average, not too much, but the extremity even is really changing. We record that this is a show about this. Besides this, also the drought. This extremity the drought, you know, the southern part of China, this is northern part of China. But the drought from southern to north, maybe you, you visit China, you see the Kunming Yunnan is a very beautiful place in China. But the Kunming Yunnan still faced the very serious, you know, the drought. So this is, uh, say people, the, what happened about this? Because we have the hydrological recover, but we found that, you know, that it's some of the time space is significant that the change about this. So perhaps, you, you know, the impact of climate change, the main, the main one of the major driving force. So people had to think about this one. Second, I like to say that besides that, we, saw, we call that anthropogenic because CO2, you know, the uh, emission or something. Another is very significant that we call the land use coverage change due to rapid, you know, the urbanization or uh, farmer like this. So I like the Wuhan, my hometown is Wuhan University, the Wuhan, this is Wuhan city, the area. Also, this is the change of the, in Paris, the area in the Wuhan. In 1990, the 2000, 2008, you see the red color is, is this area. So it's a significant the increase. You will assume the high rains happen, it's a much more high the water logging, you know, the disaster is happening about this. So this is land use, the uh, COVID change about this one due to the urbanization today. I want to address this about this the, uh, issue. Here is the, I think the figure is a show, is a Japan, you know, urbanization, because Japan is, uh, is the country also, urbanization is very high. But still in the China, you say the same in 1980s, you know, you're significant, you know, so going up, the going up. So, so for significant urbanization in recent 13 years, China is now facing the big challenge, how the wisely the manage water in the urban system, because most people is the, you know, the living the, there. Because we are facing many challenges when it's the, the water logging, okay, like the Wuhan city. Almost every year, this year the same. So why China, where, you know, our president Xi Jinping promoted, we call the sponge city. In the US, your lower impact development of the Singapore, the Australia, we are different, you know, the, you know, the way the, how to, you know, the deal with the, give the solution. Because the major one is uh, like this, it's like this. This is uh, some of the region ways the climate change will increase the risk of the extremely even second the urbanization, you know, the land use or change, also more people is living there. Put this together, so much more serious water issue in the urban area. This is what. 
Second is for urban rare wheat, called this water environment issue, because it's black, the ordinary the water, mm, small well, they say they're not very good. Some, you know, the, uh, the, in, you know, the cities, the channel, or the, the small, the, uh, the, the, the river. Because this is no po point pollution due to the high rain, particularly the initial, you know, the period, the high rains happen, so much more, you know, the pollutant water into the, you know, the uh, discharge the system. Besides this, is the Wuhan city is the same about the ecosystem the degradation. I would like to say that my home, you know, the city is uh, Wuhan city is very beautiful. We have the many men in the lake. In the Wuhan city, in the Chinese world, we have the 100 lake city. In the Hubei province, is the 1,000 lake the province. So this means we have very, very, you know, the lot of the you know, lake very beautiful here. But you say the East Lake is nearby my uh, university. It's uh, some, you know, the region is shrinking, you know, it's going up. Because of the urbanization, many, you know, new building <laughs> is built here, you know, uh, land area, not like the, your country, the Canada, you know, the China, we have the, you know, the face, the, the challenge. So this is some of the figures that show the city lake significant, you know, the uh, depredator on the Wuhan city where the area reduced the 229 the kilometer square years in the 20 years, but different uh, lake have the different uh, ratio. But anyhow, uh, this is uh, indeed uh, some the, you know, the problem. So we call the water security, you know, the water supply, what shortage, what pollution, also what the disaster, etc. It's become the most important issue, and we call the sustainable city the development because. Uh, this some of the pictures are already the show uh, some this the issue. So you are looking for the in the global. You say the driving. You know the, uh, also we say the how to give the solution for water. You know the urban water issue. So this is just at least not uh, all of this, but I think it's very representative uh, for this. The, in 1972, the U.S. we had the BMPS, the best manager practice, because this focus mostly in the water logging, you know, the have rain in the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the urban area. In 1990, the U.S. have the LID. So China, we are just the early, in the, we try to learn what is the LID. We also try to do, you know, the, uh, do the lower impact development or the green infrastructure. It's about this one. Also, UK, the sustainable urban the drainage the system, SUDGS. Also, Australia is the water sensitive with the urban the design because Australia is same the you know the some the you know the the, the cities you know the, the the very sensitive you know also for et cetera. Uh, anyhow, but I would like to address in the 2014 the China, particular our president Xi Jinping promote we call the sponsor city construction. Because we have the more population, it's not only for you know the water logging, also for you know the uh, water environment issue, also the system. So also I involved some international you know program we call the eco hydrology. This is most you know the uh, you know the promoted by the UNESCO, the HP. You know say your hydrology they are know the uh, uh, understanding about this. So this is a policy that China because we are faced uh, many different uh, water issues challenge, but the uh, urban city is uh, one of the major ones. So the policy, the sponsor city construction, I think uh, this is uh, based on the all global, you know, the, we have the, you know, LID or, you know, the Australia, Singapore, they are doing a very good job for the urban. But uh, what is different, the China will have high population. This is different, okay? The further we face the global change, the face the you know the the, the water some issue. So uh, this is the uh, you know the uh, Chinese government is try to to do the urban the city is like the sponger can storage the water. You know, when you when more water is coming, then they can infiltration or regulation and then cycling or the releasing. So so this is. Uh, People, you know, want to say, say we are facing the big challenge for the, you know, the urban area. So we try to, why not, uh, we try to integrate the way. We can learn some from the LID, because LID mostly is more the, you know, the scale in the local rest in the area. But we have the drainage. Also, we have the big river, Yangtze River, you know, the Han River in the Wuhan. 
So how they integrate uh, this in a different scale of one system, this is a big challenge. So we, we must be do more job that, you know, that according to our Chinese uh, situation, Chinese uh, conditions about this. So I would like to say the sponge city construction is based on the LID and another, you know, BMP, the, you know, technology, but also should they do the integrate through the system methodology? Because we have the, you know, the more people, the more, you know, the user uh, in, uh, in the there, so, okay. So, so this is, uh, say, we are trying to do some of the job, but still we face the very serious the challenge. So, so this is why we can more exchange to learn each other about this one. So this is basically, I want to give the very short, you know, background. Now, the, my second one is about urban hydrologic attribute, we say the attributions, okay. Why is urban happened about this, I say the water logging? The urban, the hydrologic process is the same as the river basin, or what is the different? What's the reason, what's the cause? So we try to do some the analyze. So why was the involved this? We have this, the, you know, the hydrographs like this. This is, you know, the nature, you know, the situation that in the, uh, in the, rural, in the uh, rural area some. You will have the, just I say, the urbanization. It may be, it could be, it's like this way. But a uh, sponge city construction try to from this going to the cover. Maybe you quickly, you know, the same, but not exactly the nature. No, 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 no. Many people are there. But we see the effective, maybe similar for the nature. For the natural. So this is say that for this solution should be based the natural basic solution, then the combine green and the, you know, the green. Green is the Congress, you know, construct engineering. The green is natural. So we should put this together, not the only way. Because uh, urbanization is like this. It is many reasons is the increase, the, you know, the impairs the surface. Also for modification the water, you know, the heat exchange of the energy, you know, the surface and, uh, you know, the atmosphere also reduce the surface, uh, albedo, soil moisture, surface warming, also the urban head, you know, the Iceland effect, we call the green, you know, green, the warming, the sun. So anyhow, uh, people is more, you know, the, some of the analyze. But I like to give a very simple the equation to the water balance to show what has happened in, uh, uh, about this. Here is the, I like the, some of the mathematics, but anyway, you can understand the basic uh, idea is about the analyze for urban hydrologic the attribute. We, is, we have the balance, you know, the uh, runoff is the precipitation, minor evaporation, and the storage. This is the water balance, you know, the hydrology, every people are this, uh, and uh, uh, about this. But uh, one is the urbanization, so maybe, you know, it could be for precipitation, it's also the change is like, like, like this one. This is the Beijing. The annual, the maximum, the daily precipitation in the downtown is 17, 19 millimeters, but now it's much more higher, you know, the, due to the, you know, the, you know, the flux or some, the, you know, the uh, uh, heating, the sun, the uh, raising. Of course, you will give the hypothesis, you say the precipitation not too much change, but the land use current change is also very serious. It could be changed, the total, the runoff, the, 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 you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, the runoff, the generation is, uh, is like, you know, the, uh, this, uh, this way. So the, this is, uh, I say, the precipitation. Also, I like to address the urban evapotranspiration. If you do the hydrology, we are major elements, we say the precipitation, evapor evapotranspiration, or you know, surface water, soil water, and groundwater, et cetera. This is China, we have the Shenzhen. We do the experiment, the long history uh, re recovery. So this is some of the result of the, some of the city. We need to do more the global, you know, the, uh, the more in the, in the China. But anyway, therefore, evaporation, evapor transpiration rate and the city scale, it is one or three, then, you know, millimeter per day by monetary. 
So I think the ET, you know, is much more, you know, that also some the change. Also for urban surface evapotranspiration, we are monitoring is the point seven one or three, the, you know, the point nineteen the millimeters per day by the evapotranspiration. I think the model from the remote sensing uh, is the, about this one. So this is some, uh, you know, the Beijing, this is Beijing, also this is the Shenzhen. The some the case uh, we uh, we are doing. Third one is the urban water storage. This is a major one. This is much more the change by you know the land use current change. So what is the total storage? We can separate the soil in the storage by soil water, okay? Also the ponds, also the river lake and the wetland. But you the urbanization is much more quickly uh, traditional way. So we are lost, we are lost storage from the soil, lost the storage from you know the 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 the, the, the pond like the you know the the, the the eastern lake also we have the river or some the lake lost the storage also the wetland story. So this is a total the lost for urban you know the about it because we have the many you know the data is show about this. This is what area the increase. Yeah, you know, the by the, you know, the setting point from 1991 to 2000. So this is the shrinking for, uh, uh, for the, you know, the East uh, Lake, also the uh, uh, water, you know, the, uh, the, the level, I think the Beijing, the city is almost, uh, is also, you know, the uh, decrease the, uh, some, the, uh, some the area. So the D is the total, uh, you know, the reduction of the, you know, reducing for, you know, the urban, the, the storm, the water, the storage, the storm water storage. So we have to give the just a very simple, you know, the attribution uh, is that we have the R equal to the precipitation minus evaporation and the storage. So we can just separate the, about the, what is the urbanization before and the after, you know, the, uh, you know, the urbanization. So we have the found. This, you know, the D is the total. So we have the very simple indicator where the runoff coefficients with urban, you know, the, the, the uh, attributions are over the P. So we have the, like this, the efficient. This is, you know, the runoff coefficient without the urban hydrological attribution. Maybe some say that, you know, the LID is a target. But due to urbanization, we are increased, the, you know, the loss, the volume of the, from storage the, in the area. Also, we have some change from the, you know, the um, evapotranspiration. But even some, you know, say the P is also maybe change. We can give the hypothesis. Um, most is the change, the, like the Wuhan city is a storage is change. So this is a re relationship that before the urbanization and also after, you know, the urbanization, we can very simple, the, you know, the, uh, give the course the, of the, you know, the urban, you know, the water logging due to the decrease soil storage, due to decrease the pond storage, due to decrease the river, the lake storage, and due to decrease the wetland, which also some, the, you know, the land cover, the forest or the grassland, there is some change. We have many more, the Congress, so this is why we are doing the LID, the sum, this one. So the urban, the runoff, the, uh, also the, we call the runoff generation of flow to voting, okay? The, the, the charge, the, you know, the, during the flooding period. So mechanism is also is uh, significant also the change. Because river, the inflow, so we said the upstream, also land surface, the charge, also pipeline or the storage. Because we are urban system, it's not like the rural uh, the, uh, the, uh, the area. So this is also say, many routing, you know, the, from route to road, the pipe, land walk, and the river system is always the storage is also uh, uh, affected. So we can quantify what is the volume, the change. Even we have the, some monitored system and, uh, uh, and the modeling. So this is the uh, course that, you know, they say the urban, the water logging. Lower designed standard of the sponsor, you know the, the you know the measurements of the green infrastructure. So maybe you hear said with the run of year education is like this, but curious I, I already you know they gave the um, uh, 
about you know the this the uh, the, uh, the picture is the picture. This is show the total annual runoff control area corresponding to the Spang City is 20 or 40 millimeters as the moderated rain of the you know the drizzle. And also drainage standard for the green infrastructure is the 15 or 100 millimeters as the heavy rain you know is to happen. So for urban system, we should be considered the smaller rain, middle rain, the higher rain. The different, you know, the percentage we have the different efficiency. But the LID, you know, we have the uh, bioretention, rain garden, or the river infiltration that, you know, the uh, break into the river. We can, some of them, you know, the engineering, the methodology to solve this. But how to combine this local scale Sponger, you know, the, say the, the rain garden some, and the river, you know, the, the urban the, uh, drainage the system or the urban, the, you know, the big large scale the river system put it uh, uh, t together. But however, in the China, maybe you understand that we have a Chinese word, lion dragon, manage the water. We have the mineral source, they are to the flooding control, okay? We have the Ministry of the Agriculture, they are corresponding to the water supply in the agriculture. We have the Ministry of the Environment, that they are to the water pollution. But the system is when they are. How do you put this together? So, so it's for urban city, same we are, you know, the analyze. This is the flooding control, the standard are, you know, the mismatch between the urban drainage, the facility, and the river and the lake. This is where, you know, after 2016, I gave a picture of the login in 19, uh, the 2016 in the Wuhan city ha happened very serious water logging the events. So people, you know, to do the analyze. This is a source control the system, you know, the most is the LIDs do job. This is a pipe, you know, that we have the uh, uh, once a year, so one or five years, like, then also we have the pumping station. You, the big uh, water loadings happen with the pumping station, put the water into the outside, you know, the, the, this is, you know, it's an emergency, the methodology uh, we are doing. Also in the Wuhan, we have the Yangtze River, Han River. So our flooding control, the standard is 100, once a year, so it's much more high, the dike is there. So there's a different system, how to, how to you know, the think about the wind system, you know, to put this together, because there's different scale, the time and space. It's a bit challenging in the Wuhan, you know, the, 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 uh, the cities. So this is, uh, I think, is a big challenge uh, for us. So another is unreasonable the planning, the construction, in efficient way uh, is uh, like this, you know, the, some they say that yes, we have the system, but it's cannot block, cannot you know, use it for this one. This is needed for the managing some issue. Yeah. We have the design, the sum. So this is the example, say, the, the buying and the, you know, the, uh, some of the guangzhou is some the, the water logging is that happened uh, uh, about this. This year in the China still you, you, due to the monsoon, you know, the rain. So the China will have many cities, many small and mid rivers. Uh, in surface, though, you say the uh, water flooding, you know, the, some the, uh, some the di uh, disaster. So this is, uh, I use the very simple water balancing methodology just to show, you know, say the what is the reason, attribution, you know, the due to the, you know, the urbanization, the some issue. But the third one is we want to promote in the morning, I, the Professor Hyper is uh, introduced about the system, the approach. I very appreciate that you, you do the very good the job. Uh, I like the apply the, your, you know, the, the system of the system engineering. Yeah, that's right. The, you know, the, how the, you know, the, <laughs> the, the face, the, the face of the bigger challenges, the give the solution. But, but anyhow, in the international, I'm the, uh, you know, the owner vice president for IHS, International Association of the Hydrological Science. We have the decade program we call the Pantare. It's the everything's flow. We are not only think of physical hydrology process, also we have to think about the social hydrology, you know, the, then put this together. In the earth science, the, you are looking for the feature, we have the very big project with uh, the feature earth. Feature Earth means that we need, uh, you know, the deeply the interdisciplinary, the social science, natural science and the social science. 
So we need a monitoring or something. Anyway, this is, uh, I think, we need a you know, system, you know, where not only in individual, you know, so, say. So, so this is my uh, third. Perhaps the U.S. I'm sorry, some of the Chinese, but I just address some of the, uh, you, you know, the, 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 the English. Traditional urban water system, I think, is only two pino, two pino. One pillar is water supply. You know, urban city where you know the water supply. Then we have the uh, polluted water. Then we get the sewage, you know, treatment plant. This is a two pino. So we have the drinking water source into the supply. Then we are uh, you know water supply to the urban. The urban have the pollutant where go to back. Then it goes here. So this is. Uh, now the well phase I mentioned before, the, my first section, the water issue in the urban the area. So now we must be changed uh, uh, about this one. So, so this is what we call the uh, uh, city, you know, the water cycling, the version two. Version one is completely the natural. In the China, some the rural, you, you know, the, uh, the area, we have a small town like this. This is completely, you know, the natural, the, the, the way. I think uh, in the, your country, the same. But if the population the increase, we have the more, you know, the local, small industry. No, this system is despair. So we have uh, uh, about this. So now the China, we have the to those bunch of city, just a perfect uh, 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 rain and uh, another. They are proposals that yes, we face the big challenge. We never, uh, you know, the only the depend on the two pino. We need more pino for the system. Okay. So this is they are called the sponsor city. The urban the water cycling system, the version four, version four. What does it mean? This is uh, original water working, the water supply, and also, you know, the, uh, for waste water treatment. But uh, we have, we need uh, the urban, you know, the, for the, the ecosystem. They are like the wetland, uh, maybe parking something, they can preliminary the, uh, treatment for, you know, the waste water. Then the, basic natural solution than cycling. Yes, we have the uh, face, the you know, urban area, just our show in the Wuhan city. So we are use the LID, you know, some of the methodology, some of the uh, infrastructure to deal with. Then you would have a small the middle rain, we have the uh, small the drainage system. You, uh, we have the, you know, the uh, high rain, we have the large drainage system. Then with the pollution, we can treatment. This is the, you know, say the farmland or the forest need the uh, urban, we call the green park, a green area. It is means the urban, not only all is the green, uh, uh, the green should be green, you know, the more forest, the more uh, grassland, the more parking. So this is, I think, uh, much more the, you know, the improve than the traditional, we say the version two, version two. So this is when is the China. So we say that we need to change our concept, change our system. We need to develop some new urban water cycling system because this is a brand LID, lower impact development of the under uh, 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 water manager something and the sponsor. Uh, you know, the marry into the, uh, you know, the traditional, say, the water supply, uh, year treatment, RID, drainage, river wetland, then the water storage, then the supply is uh, like the uh, cycling. But however, this model is maybe, could be available for the, like the Beijing, Tianjin, northern China. But it is the south in China, we are facing the Yangtze River, facing the Han River, have rain because we are located in the Mansion area. So this is say that how to improve the, our understanding for sponge urban construction from a real system. So we had to much more uh, think about uh, not only focus on the rural area, uh, uh, urban area. We should think about the rural area because China and the Beijing the same. Uh, the two and why from Wuhan to the Beijing, we have the you know city, the circulation, the highway, you know, the second circulation, third circulation, the, the fourth circulation. Now it's seven circulation because the you know the expansion for the urbanization uh, before this rural area now is the <laughs> urban area. 
So no very clean at the board for rural area. So this is the system must be sync in the uh, in the system the way. So uh, the the 2016 or uh, the 17th, I promoted the version five. What is the means the uh, voting the five? The 14, uh, what, uh, version 45 is the urban water system is a typical multiple scale system. We not only think about the, you know, the, uh, I did the local, you know, the, uh, the scale should be, you know, the think about the large scale, then there may be mid scale from the local scale mayor, LID, you know, the green, the infrastructure, and the middle scale, uh, you know, the mayor, like the drainage network, the green infrastructure, and also large scale river system, like the China and the Yangtze River. You know, in the world, the Yangtze River is the third large river in the world, the first large river in the China. So also across the Wuhan city, you know, the Yangtze River, we must be thinking about the, you know, the urban water issue, the link with the system. So uh, I think that one point is the uh, version, you know, the five is the integrated water cycling, LID, drainage network, river and the lake is like this system. This is LID, okay, this is drainage, the, you know, system, this is river and the lake, separate. put this together, put this together. So this need a more multiple, you know, many uh, manage the section to put this together. To put this together. So this is a picture is uh, just to show very. This like the Yang, Yangtze River, okay? This is Wuhan city. We have the distribute the urban area also several. And we are small the sponge city. So we have the waste, you know, water. Some of the separate. Some of the just put it together. So China will have the you know the uh, improvement that the the, the rainfall, uh, you know, the this and the waste of water should be separate. Also, you know, the need to do some, the, the manage some, something. Then we have water supply, okay, into the city. Also in the discharge, then we have the waste treatment. But we should not go back to the urban. Should be green, bad, or wet land, or some, then they go back. Some it will do the ecological, you know, the restoration and the lake. You will have rains happen, we have very good, the pumping station is, from the city into the outside. So all this the picture, then we are considering the precipitation, evapotranspiration, and the discharge. Surface water, soil water, ground water. So this is like the natural river, you know, the, uh, the basin system, but we are looking for the, you know, the, uh, the urban area. Because adventures for integration, the urban hydrological theory, and the water supply, and the drainage system, and the infiltration, retention, storage, uh, purification, use of the drainage, and this is the basic concept of the sponsor city in the China, it's a faction. We, we want to integrate about this. So I think there's a benefit for realize the objective of sponsor city. What is the real sponsor city, the goal, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the construction about this. So these are some of the case study I would like to share with you in the Wuhan water cycle. Because the, uh, China and the policy is uh, the sponsor city for, uh, you know, the urban area, the target, the, the 2020 should be 20% of the total area should be come into, become into the sponsor city. But unfortunately, the Wuhan city will have a high population, so it's only 42 area to do this. But not all of this, so it's a big challenge. But the uh, 23rd, you know, the, in the target should be covered 18%, 80%, you know. So, so this is the big challenge. But uh, anyhow, we have some of the case. This is the Qinshan, this is the Yangtze River is there. There's a very big, the, you know, the Wuhan the Air Company. You know, the big, the, you know, the in, in, industry there. The Qinshan is also, we have the high population that you're mining the lake, so, you know, Yanxi Lake and the uh, East Lake is there. So this is a very good the case. We do. The, you know, the version five is the design the regulation for air ID, drainage, network, and the river and the lake, or, you know, the uh, uh, system. Uh, this is a depend on the where program, the, 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 you know, the, the planning, the first. Then we have the engineering, you know, the uh, county mayor also is say the infrastructure for air ID, the rural resident area, we 
ask you know that the local people is collaboration with us. We are new the garden or the uh, bioretention, rain garden, also drainage, also change. People is happen where environment also uh, is changed uh, 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 about this one. Then we have the improved, you know, for the drainage subsystem. Then the link with the Yangtze River, okay, the river, the lake separate. So this system improve and, uh, and uh, you know, the regulation about this one. But basically, what does it mean, the water system? Because the 2004, I involved, uh, you know, the global water system project. Because this is an initiative that just considering the, you know, the adaptation to climate change. Later, you just will do the initiative, the catchment you know, for global water system. Now we are used for the urban water issue. Anyhow, you say the urban water issue, we are water cycling, okay? I say the precipitation, uh, the, uh, the, the evaporation, and the runoff discharge, the link with the hydrological components, these physical components. Then also we have the water pollution, we say that you know the uh, water, you know the environment or the ecosystem. Then we have the urban, is the water management components, urban construction, storage management, put this the one system way. So this multiple sector should be integrated. You know, the, we need some, the, you know, the law, need some the institution, need of the good governance. Maybe you understand that China, we have the river chief system, you know, okay? You are the mayor, you are in charge of this city. Your city have the very serious pollution, you are lost your head. Okay, so one by one, one by one, we call the chief, you know, the river chief, the system. This is the one kind of the, you know, the, with the, then we have the, some design, put the money, we have the, you know, the LID, the uh, infrastructure. Anyway, this is, uh, you know, where I give the definition about this. So based on the, you know, the, also we need the uh, science, the technology, the innovation. Because heavy rain is happening, it's no linear, it's a very complex the hydrological process. Because not the only natural water cycling, okay, have rain. So we need to develop some, to say, the no need again series of the precipitation, the runoff. Because different intensity, different cover, we have the different volume and the peak. This is no linear, not the linear. Uh, 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 about this. So we need uh, some the innovation. Also for uh, the floating, uh, you know, the routing. Is the water quality, water quantity, they are, you know, the integrated one by one. It's not uh, only one system. So this is, uh, I think that this picture is, uh, say, that it's a very complex system where precipitation, also where, you know, dynamic hydrologic process, also we have the, you know, the uh, runoff, uh, you know, the yield, also pollution, the yield, and the flow, the, the routing, then also for the pumping station, it's very much more, you know, say the natural system and the social system. We put these together one by one. So we need a more detailed science and technology, you know, that can play the role, but time limited, I'm not talking more in, uh, uh, in, in detail. But I say that you will do the case study. In fact, it's very good. Because this one study, the Qinshan, you know, the, 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 the middle school, the transition just happened about, you know, the water logging. The students that go to the class, they have to like this way because it's very lower alone, okay, the water logging is uh, happening by this because around it's very high, to, all the, the water is discharging into the here. Then you say, this is a very large area. It's easy to happen about this. Now we are doing the sponsor, you know, the uh, city construction. This combined the local LID, the drainage, also the large river we are pumping station, put this together. So it's just the last year, it's happened that 147 millimeters have rain. It's like this, no problem, no problem. This year, just you see the news in the Wuhan city, some area is still the water logging because that's not a due job for Sponger city. You do just like the Qinshan, Sponger city, quickly, then it's, it's a cover of this one. So it's good. So we are say that we are continuing to do the, you know, the list uh, job. But now is Wuhan is only 
the total Wuhan city the area is 4.4% uh, is lower. We should be, you know, the 20% than the uh, 2013 should be 18%. Then this really benefit for local people, you know, the, for the local people. So I like the very short summary and the perspective from my the, the presentation. I think the construction the progress is the is 30 the national pilot city, which called the 19 of the total province, is selected for the first, you know, the China and the city, sponsor city, the construction. This is, you know, the municipality, uh, uh, I think is some of the cities, Beijing, Tianjin, Shanghai, Chongqing. And the province, the capital is the Wuhan, Jilan, Guiyang, Nanjing, and Xi'an, Fuzhou, and Xilin. Then another city, I think, is we have some. This is, you know, say, the, like the whole picture. Because we are selected a different region. This is Henry Ren, the wet region, and the dry region, and all the middle, you know, the arid, summary, the region. Because this is representative the area in the city in the China. We try to do, you know, the comparison, what is different. Second there is a central government investigation to three years. So I think it's a big money for, uh, for this, you know. This is the point, uh, you know, six billion renminbi per year for, you know, the municipality. Also the point five, the billion uh, uh, Chinese yuan, the year for provincial the capital, or another from the, you know, the city. Anyhow, uh, the, the Chinese uh, government, now we have the investment the mechanism the central government put some money, but the local should be company should be combined. So we call the PPP the system, public or private. You know, that is, you know some of the, the different system that get the more money into you know the for this. Yes, we have some maybe some face some challenge, but anyway, not only depend on the central government to pay. No, no, that's right. Should it be you know the multiple way the, uh, about this. But uh, however, I would like to address is the construction, the complexity. Uh, 655 cities, you know, proposed to build sponsor city, you know, before the last year. But the proposal, I think, the only 16 percent uh, uh, is the proposal. Only in the 10.9 percent city in the China was improved. It means not all the city to do the you know sponsor the uh, uh, the city. So so this is. Uh, much more the uh, demand, you know, that here the people say that we like, the, you know, uh, to uh, to do the, you know, you, you know that this job. So the city plan to be finished, you know, I will mention about this. 20% of total, you know, the area in the, in the city in the 2020, and 18% of the total city in the 2030. So this big job and the investment you cover, you know, the, uh, um, about this uh, still, I think the bigger challenger, you know, the, for China and the rural, the, uh, the urban the area. You are well looking for the future. It's a perspective, it's a bunch of city construction. I think, uh, you know, we need to do more the job. You also, there should be a summary, uh, learn the lesson, you know, the, learn the experiments or the learn the lesson the now. When, number one is the, how to integrate the water system monitoring. Because this is very important. Yes, uh, investment still to do the monitoring is like we see the Yangtze River the system. But uh, this need still from the early in the design and uh, you know the construction process. Then the, after you know the construction, we need to do the monitoring and managing then in the future. It, it should be a whole process. Not only for construction period, no. So this is, but now the challenger is many is only for construction. So we need, you know, the mechanism about this one. Second is the how to do the integrated system landscape simulation. Because the run of the yield of the different, you know, the underlying the surface and this is eroding, and the development of the urban water cycling system model need to be 
you know, that improve. Yes, we have the, some model. We also the land use swim, you know, the infox. Yes, some separate. Uh, yes, the, for China, we are, the, you know, the different condition. Maybe data is not uh, satisfied. So we must be the simplify also uh, uh, local the, the local the area the condition. So this still the some the, the problem. Third one is I think the do job in the integrated system planning of the sponsor city. Particular sponsor, you know, the so multiple scale air ID the pipeline, drainage, and the river lake and the reservoir. This is I propose the version five. Version five with just people, oh, this is a good idea. But the reality is only in two or three, you know, the version that's about. So this is uh, uh, people want to target, you know, because this job the five years ago they are planning. Now they are want to finish. Then they are moving the new phase. The, the, the new phase. So I'm uh, happy is I was the one of the panel, you know, the is, is, uh, expected uh, the teams. So I also propose should be, say, the improve our, you know, the more hydrology should be coming to, uh, to do this. The, uh, the, the next thing is I should uh, emphasize the integrated system the operation and the regulation of the storm water and the pollution. Because there's a forecasting, the warning planning should be very important. In the urban area, when heavy rain is coming, so where do the RID, uh, the drainage, also the uh, outer, you know, the cities, uh, big rivers, uh, regulations, and these also need to integrate, uh, uh, put this together. So the regulation, like the reservoirs, cascade reservoirs regulation is the same, but the cities much more, you know, the complex, we need the warning system about it. Some is the bridge, and the bridge, you know, easy to happen by the water logging because it's very lower, you know, the, cover, uh, the car from the, the bridge, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the, the underground. So, so this is also, I think, is very, very uh, uh, important. Last one is, I think, it should do more job the integration the system, a uh, system and for sponge city the management, because you know we need to do the system. Some the uh, city we are already doing, so some is good there, uh, some is not very good. That's right. Uh, maybe you can see the news uh, letter in the China, Changde in the Hulan province to do the sponge city very good. But just this year is having the heavy rain is very high. So early in the summer, you know, the half days is same the water logging about it. Some people the old mm, sponge city not use. Uh, it's wrong something. Yes, but uh, after the few hours, you know, it's also the cover. So how do you think uh, about this? We need to do some the summary uh, evaluation for this. So comprehensive evaluation, an uh, indicator for urban water cycling and the system, and the risk analysis of the sponsor city that manage is very, very important. Anyhow, uh, China is a developing country. We are faced a very serious water issue due to our the high population. Uh, you know, the US and Canada, you do the very good the job, but you are also, I think, the face that you are challenger. Another is you have the, your adventure, your population is not very high in China. So how we can, you know, the, uh, learn each other and give the solution just like a developing country? This is the bigger issue. Because I was the uh, vice president for IHS. I charged the task force for representative developing country for Ponte Rey, it means water security the issue. So I think this is really the bigger uh, challenge. We should learn each other uh, about this. So international cooperation is uh, uh, welcome. So I very appreciate that I like the cooperation with the you know, University of Waterloo, particularly for you know, the Water Institute also, Kaiser and uh, you know, the, uh, Philip, you are doing a very good job. We learn each other. But today I'm only talking about the uh, urban water issue. Thank you very much indeed.